Hi friends, and welcome to another episode of Piano TV. So a long, long time ago, probably like half a year ago, we did a video on how to harmonize a melody. And I'll link that to the screen if you haven't seen it. It was basically just about how to like make a melody more pretty and interesting by adding extra notes to it. So we're also going to be talking about melodic embellishments today. We're going to talk about something called the appoggiatura, which is a very fancy Italian word that we will get into like what it means. But basically it's just another like, songwriting function that adds to an intrigue or interest in a melody. So since melody writing is such like a huge topic and like it's way too much for one video, my approach is just to kind of like chip away at it one piece at a time. So let's get started. The word appoggiatura comes from the Italian word appoggiare, which means to lean. And that's actually literally what it means in music. So you'll have a note of tension that leans into a note of resolution. So let's go to the screen and take a look at what that actually looks like in music. So here in the left hand, you can see that this is outlining a G major chord. So if we look at the right hand and how it all lines up, you have a C sharp moving to a D. So which one of those two notes should be easy. Which one of those two notes is part of the G major chord. If you said D, you would be correct because there is no, no C sharp in a G major chord. So the C sharp to D is an appoggiatura because it moves from the tense note, the C sharp, to a resolution note, which is a part of the kind of chord that's going on here. So we'll take a look at on the keyboard in a second so you can hear what it's actually gonna sound like, but yeah, it definitely creates extra tension. So let's move over to the next bar. We have notes in the left hand outlining a C major chord. And then again, we got the same thing going on in the right hand here. We're moving from a D sharp to an E. And this E, seeing as it's a part of the C major chord down here, is kind of like our resolution note where this D sharp is gonna create like a lot of tension. And that's our appoggiatura. So that appoggiatura we were just looking at on the screen, let's take a look at it on the keyboard and just hear what it sounds like. Cause it, this is a pretty dramatic one. So I'm gonna play it in slow motion for a second here. how dramatic that is, right? So we're moving from the C sharp to the D. That's our appoggiatura, because the D is a part of that chord. So that's the home note in the C sharp. Listen to how tense that is. It's like when you hear that, it kind of grates, but then it moves into that home note and it sounds okay again. And those little tension release moments in music make a really big difference in how interesting it sounds. So I'm gonna play it through again. And in the context of that whole bar, it actually doesn't sound like too harsh with that C sharp, even though when you play it all together like this, it sounds really bad. So in the context of a, of a fuller unit, it tends to sound a little bit more natural, but still adds tension. And then you hear the second appoggiatura, pretty much the exact same pattern the second time through. And again, very dramatic, but very cool. I mean, there's a lot to say on the topic of writing a melody, but for the most part, it all comes down to balancing moments of tension and suspense with moments of ease or release. So that's basically what little touches like the appoggiatura do to songs. So if I were to play that little Mozart melody, I'll go back to it here for a second. If I were to play it without the appoggiatura, take a listen. nice, it sounds fine, but with the appoggiatura, it has so much more character and the melody itself has so much more punch just by adding like one little tweak. Generally appoggiaturas are approached by step, like either stepping up or down, and it can sometimes look like teeny tiny little ornaments here, but it doesn't mean you play it quickly because appoggiaturas are generally held around half of the main notes value. It simply indicates that it's an ornament. And yeah, so this is how it would actually be played. An ornament is exactly what it sounds like in music. It's just a little musical decoration. It's there to make the main melody prettier and more interesting. And that's exactly what appoggiaturas do. So that's why it's written like that sometimes, not all the time. So I wanted to show you a couple examples of appoggiaturas in pop music. So this first example is from a song called The Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog. And this is the sort of the end of the song. Someday we'll find it. The Rainbow Connection is the lyric and I'm not singing it, but I'll play it. Oh, I did that wrong. Now, 
out. If you heard two appoggiaturas, you would most likely be correct, because at least in my opinion. So the most obvious one is towards the end, connection, because I'm playing an A chord in the left hand, and the C sharp up here in the right hand is the home note, and we're going from, we're kind of like walking into that home note, right, to create a little bit of tension. Right? So that's a pochettura number one. The second one is near the beginning. Right in there. So instead of just like hitting that main note, it swoops into it a little bit. So kind of neat. Our other example of an appoggiatura is from the Beatles song, Yesterday. So you actually hear it right out of the gate. It's the very first word he says, Yesterday. That's where the first appoggiatura is. And you can kind of hear that instead of landing on the just hanging on that F, it leads into it with the G. Let's keep going. And here it is again. So instead of just going D, 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 it leans into it with the E, which is not a chord tone because we're playing D minor. The E kind of adds a little bit of tension. So the next time you decide to sit down and write a melody, instead of just landing on the boring old home note, try to add an appoggiatura in there to see if it creates like a nice little bit of tension and surprise, because that's what makes music fun, just like little surprises like that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a like and subscribe because I always like doing, I don't know, technical theory related videos. Those are always my favorite because I'm a little bit of a nerd. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Our other example is from the Beatles song, uh,